Hello friends, welcome to the fourth episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have seen how to use language file in our component. We have used the backend language file and also the system language file and also the frontend language file. In this episode, we will see how to use Joomla controller in your component so that we can accept different tasks from the URL and we can give different we can execute different PHP code so at first uh, we will create uh, the front-end controller and in the next episode I will show you how to use back-end controller so let's start so to use controller we need to create a controller in our component this is the front-end so we have to create controller.php file controller.php <coughs> sorry open this with your text editor now at first we need to check whether this file is not accessible by the outside so defined underscore j e x c or die access deny now <coughs> If you want to create the controller class then we have to follow some naming convention so what is the class name so component name and then controller so this is the naming convention so our component name is mycom so my mp or you can write as comp and then controller which extends j controller now we are extending the j controller now we need to include this j controller file so we can manually include the file so at first we need to know where this file is located so open your Joomla install directory now find libraries Joomla application component and here controller so we are extending this class J controller so at first we need to include so manually we can include or using Joomla function we can easily include so J import import Joomla application then component then controller so we have imported our controller now we have to define few method in the controller so that user can access so how can you call this different controller method so from the URL we can call like as index.php question mark option equal to com underscore my com this is our component and then we can specify task and this is the task name will be the function name of the controller so let's create some dummy task <coughs> sorry function create so whenever uh, some user will provide the task create this function will call so here we can display form we can process our logic etc later we will see how to save data in the database how to retrieve data so welcome to create section now let's do another like delete now here we will accept some parameter let's say for dummy purpose so we can accept this um, get data using j request get var id so echo you want to delete dollar id okay now for security reason you may use j get var int so 
it will sanitize the output and if uh, the id is not present then you can pass a default value like this okay so you can use settings like this so create delete we have specified our controller name is mycom controller which extend the j controller which is located here under libraries joomla application component controller.php in the future lesson i will show you how to extend the admin controller as well as form controller so now we have created our controller now we have to create our controller instance so in this file we will create our controller instance so at first we need to uh, include this controller so similar thing uh, we can manually include this file controller.php or we can use jimport function so now we have included now we have to create an instance of this class that is my controller i forgot the class that's why it's looking some syntax error okay so we have to create an instance of this class so we can manually create like um, dollar controller equal to new my controller or we can create using some joomla inbuilt functionality so dollar controller t r o l l e r equal to j controller get instance and your controller name so you have you need to pass just only the name that is mycom don't pass the controller joomla automatically append the controller name so now we got the controller instance so sorry creating instance so we have created controller instance now we have to find out uh, we have to execute the task so in the url uh, maybe create edit delete or anything task maybe so we need to execute that task so we have to call this method so if somebody writes create then we need to call the method so using the controller instance we will call so execute task so dollar controller execute cut execute now we have to pass the task name so um, using j request we can accept that j request get var task here and uh, this is actually joomla command like uh, option task view so there are sp uh, special method uh, to grab this kind of variable that cmd you can also use the get var but it's better to use get cmd like uh, if you are accepting some integer so it's better to use get int like this one okay so executing the task so now um, if redirect set then we will redirect set then dollar controller redirect i will explain this later in the when i will explain the view section then i will explain this in better way so we have created the controller instance we are executing the task and we have defined two tasks one is create another is delete so i think uh, everything is right uh, class name extending j controller we have included the controller here also we have included that's it so now what we have to do we have to specify the controller in the manifest file so just open the manifest file and because we are creating the front end controller so we will specify the file name controller.php file name so here we have included um, where specified our controller file so now let's go to install this component so before install let's create a zip file compress override 
okay now go to the back end I have logged out extension manager select your component upload and install so um, we have installed and we can see the menu if I click on the back end menu it's working perfectly because we have not made any changes to the back end but um, if I click on that menu or if I visit that link so now we can cannot see anything but if I pass that task equal to create now I think there is something wrong my comp so I have to debug what is wrong um, let's make editable my bad directory now open uh, all the Joomla project project add folder here I have installed the Joomla so now let's go to the front end and check whether our yeah controller.ph file is placed now what is the error so let's um, turn error reporting on so that we can see so error reporting all set display errors and pass value 1 true etc like this parameter should be a true yeah. wow what a spelling execute <laughs> that is the fault C U T now save this create zip file one more time compress zip override extension manager select that component upload and install yeah installation is complete check the back end is working fine yeah now refresh the front end what happened <coughs> Any problem? Oh, sorry, we have not made change in our file, we have changed the live server, that's why this time was not working so let's start I will show you so this is the file so I have to modify this file controller.php now here you can s no sorry the main component file now here uh, the spelling is mistake execute double C so e x e c u t execute save and create zip file save override let's uninstall the previous component extension manager manage com yes uninstall now we are installing freshly so that you can understand better so upload and install the backend menu is created so language file working and uh, from back end also working now go to the front end refresh this page so here you can see welcome to create now if we pass delete it should show you want to delete now we can pass some parameter like id equal to 15 so here you can see you want to delete 15 now what happened if I am not passed any task so this is showing that 50 error so how can I overcome from this problem so uh, we can override the parent display function 
like uh, when the task is not available it will automatically call the display function so let's start so this is our component file so in controller we need to override the display function so function display I am here without task ok so let's save this create a zip file compress create override existing one let's go to the back end install upload and install yes now refresh here you can see here I am without task now if I specify ampersand task equal to create that create task is calling now if I specify the delete delete with ID or without ID you can see the delete is working but let's say some arbitrary task like Vishwarup this is not exist but still we are seeing because whenever Joomla cannot find any task he will call this function display function so um, now well, if we want to implement the Ajax we are getting all output in future lesson I will show you but for now I am showing one interesting thing that when we are calling the task the template is loading automatically now how to stop the loading the template so just want our output we just want our output so what you have to do let's say uh, on delete time we don't want to display the um, template we just want to display you want to delete so at first you need to get instance the application so dollar f equal to j factory get application now after echo we have to close this application that so that Joomla don't um, execute others requests like processing templating modules etc app close ok so we have saved this now create another zip override go to the extension manager browse install installation successful backend also working fine menu is correct and if I write the Vishwarup the task is not exist it's working check create the task is present working now if we write delete now here you can see nothing just only our output so this is very helpful when you will uh, implement Ajax in your component ok so in future um, once we complete the model views section then we will implement the Ajax request so in the next tutorial I will show you uh, how to add um, backend controller and uh, this type of controller we can assign to menu like um, like main menu new external URL now we can assign this here like create task save and close we can assign um, several tasks ok so in this way you can add task like if I click on the my comp the default display function is calling if I click on the create task so create task calling in this way you can create several different different view <coughs> thank you um, for watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel if you have any question then write comment below this video